Hi, I'm Daniel Watts. I'm a teen press corps manager for BBYO. And I'm here with uh, Jesse Eisenberg, an actor, author, and a playwright. And I just have a couple of questions for you today. Thanks. Dan. Could you briefly tell us about how you got into acting? I started acting when I was young, like I was doing children's theater where I grew up in central New Jersey. And, uh, and then when I was like old enough to go into New York City, which was like an hour away on the bus, um, I started auditioning for kind of more like professional type plays. Um, and then it kind of just snowballed from there. I've just like, uh, I got like a, a little agent who got me into a little play in New York. And then I got like another agent, uh, you know, kind of just very gradual, I would say. Partly like hard work and normal process and also just like the random luck of anything in the arts. To what extent did Judaism affect your like upbringing and through your acting career? Um, I grew up in like a kind of secular house. I mean, I went to Hebrew school and we went, we did like the, you know, holiday, the important holidays. And, um, and then I started getting less interested in Judaism. And then when I kind of started dating my, well, my, my wife, um, she was much more interested in it than I was. So she got me, I would say, like back into it, back right. into being interested in Jewish history, Jewish culture, and Jewish traditions, and um, you know she was more interested in going to temple than I was, for example. So uh, that was a big influence to kind of redirect me towards it. Mental health is a huge issue concerning our generation and our organization. As someone who's a major advocate for mental health awareness, how have you channeled your own experiences into positive futures for others? I think I must have accidentally mentioned in an interview about 15 years ago that um, I like have obsessive compulsive disorder, and I don't remember saying it in an interview. But people started coming up to me and saying, you know, it was really important to me uh, to read that about you because you know I suffer from that too, and to see somebody who's like uh, in the public eye and a successful actor was inspiring to me as somebody who suffers from you know uh, anxiety or OCD. And when people first started telling me that. I was like kind of helpful to them. I felt immediately embarrassed because it's such a personal thing to talk about. I, I didn't want to talk about it in public. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized that actually, you know, if I was a 16 year old kid and I saw an actor that I liked in like a popular comedy movie or something, and then I read that that actor has the same nervousness that I do, the same anxiety, the same difficulty making friends right. or the same little obsessive things that ruin your life, um, I think it would make me feel better. And so I stopped kind of worrying about censoring myself and I started feeling much more comfortable talking about it like we are now. Thank you very much for speaking with me and thank you so much for coming to speak to everyone here at BBYO. Oh, thanks a lot. Right, thank you very yeah, much. Great job.